of the broad. Thank you. Okay, enjoy singing together. Students, I will send my screen. Are you ready, students? If you yes. want to yeah, if you're ready, say yes. yes. Say louder, I want to hear your voice. Yes. Students? Yes. yes. Okay, got it. Morning has arrived, the day is long. It's long. I can see the world. I think my connection is really weak now. When I stop, I will sing along. to um, participate in uh, our meeting, you know. So thank you for your cooperation, student. Your voice is really amazing. And now Miss Wendy will tell us about um, yeah, the story and introduce herself. Are you ready to listen to her story, student? Yes. Yes, teacher. Thank you. Miss Wendy, can you help me? Yes, thank you so much. 
That was maybe one of the nicest starts I have ever had to my day. Thank you so much for singing that. I was so happy to hear all your voices that way. <laughs> um, I was so happy to hear all your voices that way. It was really just so nice. Um, so I want to tell you a little bit about myself before I read my book and about what I teach. I teach about emotions, about our feelings inside. So I teach about how to understand how we're feeling, how to understand our emotions. Like I heard, we just said when we, after you sang the song, I heard your teacher say, and we feel more confident and ready to be involved in our class today. So that's what I teach about understanding those feelings inside and how to take good care of ourselves and our feelings. And all my books, I have three books, and all my books are about teaching about feelings. So I'm going to read one of my books, and that book is called The Monster Parade. And before I read it, I thought I would share with you just a couple of things. I thought maybe we could do them together. A couple of things that we can do you know, when we're having a really big feeling. What are some of the ways that we can take really good care of ourselves when we're having a big feeling? And so the first thing that I thought I would share with you, remember I mentioned that I live, I have water right outside of me. And I really like to sit and look at the water. I find that's really calming for my body and my heart and my mind. And I like to teach a special breathing technique that we can teach. And the breathing that we teach um, is called waterfall breathing. So I thought maybe you could do it with me. So here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to say the word waterfall. And when I say waterfall, I want you to breathe in as you lift your arms. And as you breathe out, we're going to go and make a sound like a waterfall. All right, ready? So when I say waterfall, you do that. So wait for me to say it. You ready? Yes. Waterfall. Yes. And now I'm going to do it. And when I say waterfall this time, we'll pretend we're a really, really loud waterfall. And then the next time, we're going to be barely a really quiet dripping waterfall. So the first one loud, the second one really quiet. You ready? Waterfall. And the next one barely a waterfall. You ready? Waterfall. So in my book, I talk about our feelings, our emotions, being like monsters in a parade. So we imagine that our, our feelings, our emotions are monsters in a parade that are going by. And one of the things that we do is we notice that we can watch the emotions go by, but we don't have to let them be in charge. And one of the ways that we can help not let them be in charge is by using certain kinds of breathing things like waterfall. But there's another one that I thought that I would teach you before I read, and that is belly breathing. And I like to use my breathing ball. And some of you may have seen one of these before, but this is what I use when I do my belly breathing. What I would want you to do is to imagine you have a ball and you're gonna put your hands out in front of you. And when we breathe in, our bellies get a little bigger. So we're gonna breathe in and our bellies get bigger. And when we breathe out, they get a little smaller. So let's do two more. Ready? Let's breathe in. They get bigger. Make your arms get bigger in front of you. And when they breathe out, they get a little smaller. And one more. And they get bigger. And just a little smaller. So I want you, when I'm reading the book, to notice and see if you can find in the book 
in my story any other ways that we can help ourselves take really good care of ourselves and our emotions that are like our monsters that are going by in the prey because there are different ways that we can do it in the book all right so i am going to no, my screen i'm going to show you the cover of the book. Oh. No, no, no. you can't see the cover in my when i share my screen because it doesn't have the cover so i thought i would show you the cover so this is my book the monster parade a book about feeling all your feelings and then watching them go and i wrote the book wendy o'leary and it's illustrated by a woman named Naomi Jeanette Landry. So I didn't do the pictures, right? I'm the author, I did the words. And the illustrator, the person who did the pictures is Noemi Jeanette Landry. All right, I'm gonna put it back here. And instead I'm gonna use my share screen so you can really see the pictures. If I do it that way, you won't be able to see it as well. So I want you to see the pictures. So let me see. All right. There we go. So, and these are some pictures of monsters. And you can think about some of your emotions and what they might look like. So, so have you seen the parade? It happens all day. Wherever you are, it will come your way. Sometimes it's scary. And then it's such fun. It's all in your head. Your parade has begun. Oh, here's the angry monster. See the angry monster over here? Headed this way. It growls so loud, but you know it won't stay. Say hello as anger passes. It's been here before, right? We've all felt angry sometimes. Don't jump in and join it. Feel your feet on the floor. So if you're sitting, you might see if you can feel your feet touching the floor. If your body feels tight and you just want to scream, walk as you breathe. Put the parade on a screen. They have the parade up here on this silly screen. Now there's big sadness, heavy, slow and so gray, a lump in your throat, but you won't float away. You don't join the parade, your breath keeps you here. Follow it in and then out. Watch sadness disappear. So she's sad, she dropped her ice cream cone. Breathe in and your belly feels like a balloon. Breathe out and it shrinks. You'll feel calmer so soon. So let's see if we can do that together. We did that before, remember belly breathing. So let's take a breath in. Your belly feels like a balloon and breathe out, it shrinks. You'll feel calmer so soon. As the feelings march by, some may seem really scary, large, dark, and loud. Could they even be hairy? Sneaking around the corner are worry and fear. Notice your body now. They may soon disappear. So I want you to notice what this boy is doing with his arms. You see his arms? He's holding himself, right? Giving himself a little hug. After you notice, ooh, remember a time you felt happy and bright. After you notice hard feelings, it will help you feel light. So sometimes we just have to remember things that made us happy. Notice one wonderful thing that happens each day. It can move the parade quickly. Sad feelings drift away. They're watching the bugs over here. Ooh. Sit still and so quiet. Count your breath to three. So we're going to do that. Ready? Let's take a breath in and out and in and out and last one in and out. Notice how you feel now and then let it be. Feel yeah. Feelings. Yes. Ooh. I feel rest. 
you feel rest, right? You're noticing how you feel now. And after we take our nice calm breathing, we can feel like calm and rested. That's right. That's good noticing. Feelings are feelings, they come and they go. So here's something I wanna stop and make sure to say. No feeling is bad or wrong, right? We have even angry, sad, all the feelings are totally fine and they're all welcome. We just don't want them to be in charge, right? We all have them, the grown-ups, right? All the teachers have the feelings too. We all have all the feelings. They're not a problem. We just wanna take good care of ourselves and our feelings. So feelings are just feelings and they come and they go, they don't last, but the goodness inside will continue to show. Watch your parade of emotions, the old and the new. As it passes on by, just take in the view. The end. So we want to pay attention and notice our feelings. And I wonder, right, because I noticed some people maybe noticed how you felt when we did that. I'm wondering, did anybody notice what are some things that we could do maybe that were in the book that we could use to take good care of our feelings? Did anybody notice anything in the book that they want to share? I can't see. So if anybody wants to raise their hand, then I could see. So we talked about doing our breathing, right? And it talked about noticing good things and feeling our feet on the floor was another thing that we could do. And sometimes when we have really big feelings, right? They, we notice how they feel in their body. Remember we said it makes you feel tight. And so sometimes we might notice in our body, I sometimes like to say, these are my balloons that the monsters carry in the parade. Like they might feel hot and fiery in your body, right? Anger might feel like that, or we might feel like we have a lot of energy in our body. Or maybe if we're feeling sad, it might feel heavy, right? Heavy in our body. And that might be some of the balloons, or we might feel tight, like a knot, all tight when we're having a big feeling. So what I want you to think about is what are some of the, oh, I see there's a question. I'm not very good about looking in the, um, in the chat. So I'm wondering if people have any questions for me. And before I finish, I'm also gonna share a little project that you can do. And I know you have some other things that are going on today. So I'm gonna share a project that you can even do afterwards. Um, that has to do with the book to help you understand your big feelings a little bit better. And also, I thought since you sang a song for me, I thought I would sing a song for you if that was okay. Would that be okay with everybody if I sang a song with you? All right. Yeah. yeah. And I'm going to teach it to you, so we'll sing it together too. But first, I want to know if anybody has any questions or any ideas of ways that they can take care of their big feelings or questions about like just even writing books. Cause I write a book just to teach, but if you have questions about books or anything, I'm happy to answer those too. My students answer, um, are you there? Can you uh, tell your feeling now? Because uh, when you would like to hear from you, uh I think the book wants us to relax and know more about our feelings because in a, in every day we like like everything come to us but we don't know if good or bad and maybe we will feel happy or sad and if we read the book I think we will feel more relaxing. Yes. Yeah. Thank you for sharing. Yeah. And it does, right? It helps us understand better. Books are a great way to help us understand things. Whenever I'm trying to understand something, a lot of times I'll go and look for a good book to help me. So this one to help you understand and take care of your feelings. That's right. Thank you so much. Anyone and, uh, else? Teachers, uh, first of all, you have something to say, right? Before... Uh -huh. Can you hear my voice now? 
Yes. Yes. Okay. Yes. Okay. My brother just fixed it up. Okay. Um. Thank you, Wendy's. A uh, very uh, touchable books, and it remind me that Pokemon Monster that even any uh electricity, fire, or water, they're not no matter is good or bad. We have to face our emotions, our feelings. We have to face it. And just like they are our Pokemon, they're our pet. We have to deal with it and be friend with them. Okay, that's my feedback for you. And I love your book. It's an energy. <laughs> yeah, in Chinese versions, I would like to see you soon teacher for you and uh, thank you for your feedback and miss wendy we have two students from myanmar uh, would like to share their feelings uh yeah Chan Chamia, can you share your feelings first thank you yes like teacher i always do like a solution and in your book like when i finish in some of the developed difficulty or something mm -hmm. i breathe in a three hour for two minutes and started doing the regular job and it made me more relaxed and and it made me like i i can do everything yes yes thank you so much for sharing yeah it's it's amazing how helpful just breathing in and out and paying attention to our breathing can be right thank you so much for sharing that Thank you. Okay. Thank you. Yeah, Mia. I, I don't know how to pronounce your name, sorry. Yeah, Chemia, 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 Lami. Lami, you can see now. Yes. Teacher. The book makes us relax and we can feel better, match. So the book, when we read book, we cannot be lazy anymore. Yes. Yes, and, and it reminds us, we can feel better, and it reminds us that it's okay to have those feelings, right? So all the yes. feelings are totally fine. Yeah, thank you. But I want to be lazy now, you know? We are staying here to listen to stories. No we are what? Working, no working, no doing everything, anything, you know? We are lazy now to listen to stories and really relaxing yes. now. You know? Yes. No, no stressful now. And teacher Jin Jin from me and Matt. Yes. 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 Uh, teacher Wani, thank you so much. Uh, actually, I have been suffering cancer like uh, for several months. So I have been struggling with this. So that uh, the, the, the practice like and um, breathing and breathe out helps me a lot. Uh, whenever I have some difficulties with my body. So I well, when I feel very painful in my body. So I just try to relax my mind instead of like, you know, being angry or having negative feelings or like that. So thank you so much, you know? So yeah, that helps me a lot. That helps me a lot, yes. Yes, you're welcome. And I just want to say, um, you know, the other, uh, my most recent book is called It's Okay. Um, and the other piece of the practice, right, that breathing, taking care of ourselves, but offering ourselves as much deep kindness when we're having a hard time is also, you notice, I don't know if you can see, I almost always, I, my hand is always here, right, on my heart, a reminder, like, be gentle with ourselves, be loving with ourselves as we um, learn and understand our emotions and take care of our body, particularly if our body is struggling. So thank you for sharing. Thank yeah. you. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah. Wendy. Yes. 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 Yeah, you wanna... Okay. Jan Mia, um, would you like to say something? Yes. Okay. We are listening now. Can you? If I can be, if I can't feel better, I go to outside and I I read some books and I meditations. Yes, you know it's funny you said that. So, so I that's can a, feel better. 
So you said go outside and I want to show you sometimes when I'm teaching, I use these and I have lots of different ideas and I ask students, what are things that you can do to take good care of yourself? And this is mine that I use my picture because sometimes I work with students who aren't reading yet. So I use a lot of pictures and this is my picture for I go outside or sometimes I need a hug. Right, sometimes a hug helps and we can give ourselves remember in the book, the boy was doing this, so we could try this together. We can give ourselves a hug, so this I call hugging breath we take a big breath in and put our arms out wide. And then when we breathe out we give ourselves a hug alright let's try it all together let's take a nice big breath in. And then we can give ourselves a nice hug. Mm. Right, breathe out, give yourself a hug, right? It's a great way we can take care of ourselves. And sometimes we just need a little quiet, right? And reading a book, sometimes when I'm feeling sad, I like to dance around and listen to music. So everybody's different and it's good to know what helps you when you're having big feelings, how you can take the best care of yourself. So I love that you have ideas. What great ideas you all have. Are there any other questions? If there aren't, then I want to suggest a project that you could think about doing at some point. And that is, and I know I had mentioned maybe having paper and pencil or crayons. Um, so what you could do is think about what are some of the monsters that are in your parade? What are the emotions that you feel a lot that maybe give you the hardest time that you have a hard time with? And Think about how they feel in your body. Where do you feel them in your body? So give them a name, right? Is it the angry monster, the sad monster? Um, what's the name of it? And then notice how it feels in your body and maybe what would it look like and draw, right? You can color or draw, make a picture of your monster. And then write down next to it what are some of the ways you can take good care of it because this is what happens when a monster is in our brain and it's really big i think of this as kind of like my my mind and this is how my mind feels when i'm feeling nice and calm maybe after i've done some breathing and i feel calm or i'm looking at the lake or i'm do after i did waterfall really quietly Right? It could feel like this, but then I have a big monster in my parade and it's like, rah, rah, rah. it's going by, right? It could be an angry monster. And this is what happens. And when my brain is feeling like this, it's hard to remember that maybe all I need to do is go outside or get a hug. I might not really be able to think of it because my brain isn't working as clearly. So it's good to write them down, write down some ideas with your picture of your monster so that if you're having a big feeling, you have an idea. But the other thing we can do, so I use this, I call this my mind in a jar. So the other thing we can do when our mind is really, really busy, right? is to just stop and watch. So we practice belly breathing already. So here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna shake it up. I'm gonna hold it close so you can see it hopefully really well. And I want you to just watch as it settles down because that's what we wanna do with our brain and our body and our heart. Let it settle down before we make a decision. Because when we're angry, if we make a decision when we're like this, we might kind of regret it and feel bad afterwards. So I'm gonna shake it and then we'll watch it and we'll let it settle down. You ready? And we'll take some belly breathing while we do it. Here we go. All right, Ooh, let me hold it close. So we could do some belly breathing. It's still not clear. The color is changing. See how it's changing? Yeah, keep watching. And do our breathing and let it settle. You see how you can now almost see my picture behind it. Right? So we just let it settle. And we can even make these, right? Um, and use them to remind us. We shake it up and put it down and we just stay still for a few minutes until it settles down. That can be really helpful. So 
draw your picture of your monster, think about how it feels in your body, and then write some ideas of ways that you can take good care of yourself. All right, so now I'm gonna teach you, before I wrap up, I'm just gonna teach you my song. And this is actually a song that goes with my first book, and I'll show you that one. So my first book is called Breathing Makes It Better. And in this book, it's all about using breathing strategies. So the book is, um, the way the song goes, and the book uses, um, visuals of being out in nature and i know somebody mentioned being outside so here's how it goes and then we'll sing it together so it goes like this breathing in i'm a mountain breathing out i am strong and we do that two times then we do breathing in i'm a lake breathing out i am calm and we do that two times. And then we just do three breaths in and out. All right, so we'll do it together. You ready? So everybody can try it along with me. Breathing in, I'm a mountain. Breathing out, I am strong. Breathing in, I'm a mountain. Breathing out, I am strong. Next one, lake. Breathing in. I'm a lake. Breathing out. Come. I am calm. Breathing in. I'm a lake. Breathing out. I am calm. Breathe in. Breathe out. Breathe in, breathe out. Last one. Breathe in, breathe out. Thank you so much for singing with me. It was so nice to meet you all. Wow, it's a beautiful song. And how to learn to sing that song? Miss Wendy, can you share me. after meeting? I can share it with you. Yeah, we can uh, practice singing and then I will send you the video. Our students singing for this song, okay? I would love that. And actually, I'll send you both the words, but also the link. I, I have a link for it on YouTube where I'm singing it. So I'll send that to you. Perfect. Thank you so much. Ah, You're welcome. Oh, one more student would like to share something with you. Okay. Teacher Zingzing, can you help me? Yes. Um, come here, Kim. Come here, Pongda. What would you like to say? Yes. Uh, I want to say to teacher, one teacher, how long, how much day or how many months does it take you to write that song? Oh. <laughs> um. So how long did it take me to? I wrote the song so long ago because I've been teaching this for like fifteen or twenty years. So I think it took me a um probably about a week to think of the song yeah because it the song kind of came from the book so maybe about a week but it took a lot longer to write the book <laughs> thank you for asking <laughs> thank you you're welcome and uh this is wendy uh, your part is uh, done now or you have uh, more no, i have time yep no i'm okay yeah yeah, I'm fine. <laughs> okay, so uh, I would like to introduce you uh, the teacher from Italy. Uh, she would like to share a story about uh, uh, Michael Manners too. And uh, we in invite her to come here and uh, uh, share the story with our students and other teachers to join us today. And teachers Patara, uh, Miss Wendy, Hello. Uh, Miss Wendy here, and we are here to uh, listen to your story. Thank you. Thank you a lot for inviting me. Um, but first, I would like to say thank you to Wendy. I really loved your story, and as I talk about emotions with my students a lot, this is just the book I need. So this is missing in my library. 
So I will order it as soon as possible. Thanks a lot for sharing all these nice breathing techniques. Um, the book, the story that I want to share with you today is a very simple one and a very easy one, but I love it. And yeah, maybe it touches upon emotions just as well as Wendy's book does, a little bit at least. So I try to share my screen now. I, ho I hope it works. Just a moment. So where is it um, now? Just a tiny moment. So I should be able now. Yeah, here it is. Oh, great. So can you see, can you see my screen? Yeah. Yes. 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 So this is the story about Susan. Susan laughs. So if you look at this picture, there is a little girl and a cat. And who do you think, who of these two is Susan? What do you think? She's playful. She's playful. What do you think? Is, is it a girl or is it a cat? Who is Susan of these two? Uh, the girl. The girl? The girl? Yeah. Yeah, you're right. Oh, so it's the dog. The cat, you would love the cat to be called Susan. So that's maybe Susan number two. So, but the story is about the girl. The girl, Susan laughs. And I will tell you now. Susan laughs. Maybe she's looking at some funny program on TV. And Susan sings. Can you see her here among her friends? Some of them are playing an instrument, the recorder, and the other one is playing the drums on a, on a pot, on a cooking device. Susan flies. That looks fun. Can you see her shoe falling off? Yes, teacher. Yeah. And Susan swings, so on a swing. So this is my favorite. I love swinging on swings. I hope some of you do too. This is, by the way, a thing that I do when I feel my, my emotions and I have to calm down. Then I, I, I go on my swing and swing. Sometimes Susan's good. She's giving a present here to maybe to her grandma. And see here, a clown is coming out of the box. So, and threat um, yeah, threatening maybe grandma then Susan's bad. Susan's good sometimes, then Susan's bad. Susan's happy. Oh, and sometimes she's sad. Susan dances. And Susan rides. Here she's riding on, maybe on her, on her dad's shoulders or her uncle's shoulders. And Susan swims. Who of you likes swimming? I think yes. some of you do. Oh, uh, I like swimming. You do? Yeah. You do? I really like swimming. So many of you I like the so water. Care. Yeah. So here she's at the seaside, at the beach. And oh, when they go home, sorry. So what? Before going home, Susan hides. So they have to look for her. Her mom and her dad and her brother, they're looking for her. Sometimes Susan's shy and she hides behind a curtain. And sometimes Susan's loud. See the cat who's scared of her? Yeah. yeah. Susan's angry. That's her monster inside when she's really, really angry. And sometimes she's really proud. Maybe she has done something on her own. She has managed to do something and now she's really, really proud. Susan splashes here in the, in the bathtub or in the swimming pool, maybe all the water comes out. So she splashes and Susan spins on the playground. 
and Susan waves. Ah, that seems to be much fun. So waves, can you all wave? Just like Susan? No. Yes. Yeah. Good. And Susan grins. So here she's looking at a very famous picture. Maybe some of you have already seen this picture. You're amazing. You're amazing. It's the Mona Lisa, yes. And you know, the Mona Lisa has just a tiny little smile on her face. And Susan has a big smile. So she even grins and she makes silly faces. So sometimes it's nice to make silly faces. Could you all do a silly face for me, please? So all together, just a mm, or something, a silly face. Mm, yeah. Yeah, okay. This makes people smile sometimes, yeah. So Susan's right, here she's doing some calculations, some maths. She uh, does two plus one plus two plus four makes nine. So she's right. And sometimes hmm, she's also wrong. And then she feels weak sometimes, but here you can see a friend of her comforting her. And then she feels really strong. And can you see what she has done and what she has made out, for, out of her paper? Yes, a boat. Yeah, a little paper boat, a little boat, yeah. Susan trots, so on her horse she trots. And sometimes Susan rows with her mom, she does a rowing exercise, she plays rowing the boat. And Susan paints. And Susan throws. What does she throw here? Can yes. you see that? Yes, she is. She's throwing the paper. Yeah, paper plane. Paper plane. Yeah. Maybe one lesson we should do some paper planes all together. Some some folding and paper boats and paper heads. That would be a nice idea. So, but here she throws the paper plane. And Susan feels, and Susan fears, there are other feelings and emotions coming inside her, maybe at night. And Susan hugs, just as we said before, here she gets a hug from her mom maybe. And Susan hears, she's listening to stories. So this all is Susan through and through, just like me and just like you. So thank you, this is the end of the story. And I just wonder if you see how special Susan is. Is there something special about her? Something different? I Teacher, I think she's cheerful. Yeah, I think like he, she's very cheerful. She's, she's happy, happy, yes. Uh, she doesn't give up. I did not understand that. Can you repeat, please? I think like he, she always like relax his mind and drive through every crazy stuff, and then yeah, and then she become to lose. Ah, okay, yeah. You're right. So she uh, does many crazy things and lovely things. She's very happy and cheerful. Yeah. Okay. Any other? Any other comment? Any other idea? What could be so special or different about her? Hoi, are you there? Can you share us what different about uh, Susan? What is special about her? So we all have emotions, we are happy, sometimes we are sad, we are angry, we are, sometimes we feel lonely or shy, sometimes we are very loud, but in the end, we are all the same. So this is a little girl, Susan. She's moving differently than many of us do. She's in a wheelchair, but for the rest, she's all the same. And I have a tiny little exercise for you. 
I would like you to take a sheet of paper and a crayon or a pencil. Have you got that next to you? Yes. Uh, I have already have it. Oh, you're great. Yeah. Okay. So I would like you to draw a smiling face right on one side of your sheet. I would love to have this nice drawing device that the teacher, uh, that yesterday's teacher had. I can't remember her name. She, she drew that, uh, that, the duckling. It was such a nice one. So can you draw this smiling face on your paper, on your piece of paper? Yes. Yes, that would be easy. Yeah, that, that's very easy. That's it's a super easy exercise. Yeah. You do such ama amazing drawings every session. So this is the simplest you have ever done. Okay, are you ready? Are you ready? I have I'm ready. ready. I'm ready. ready. Next to it, please write, this is me. Uh-huh. This is me. Yeah, this is okay. me. Finish. And before, before I ask you what, how, um, what makes Susan so different, can you tell me what, what makes you different? What, what is so special about you? Can anybody tell me? I'm wearing glasses. It's the lattice, so it made me different. Great. So, but what is special about you? What is so special? What are you good at? What are you, what are you proud of yourselves? Miss Wendy, what makes you proud of yourself? Can you share with us? Oh, sure. And I love that book. Thank you so much for sharing that. Um, yeah, I think I'm proud that I try and do things to help other people. That's amazing. <laughs> Anybody else? What is so special yeah. about you? Yeah, we have something. Zudi here. Sister Zudi, are you there? Yes. Yeah, we would like to ask you about what special. What, what makes you special? Yeah, what makes you special? Very good question. What makes me special? My smile makes me special. Yes. Your smile and makes also you special. The way to yes, because no matter what, I will be able to face everything. And I absolutely love the two books and two story readers today. Wonderful, wonderful. And what made me special because I do a little bit Thai massage and also Chinese massage. And every time I would like yeah. to help my friends, also my other students, and then like a breathing and bring out and all the massage and help each other and also help yourself. So I think it makes me special. Wonderful. I would like to book you for a Thai massage. <laughs> Yes, and same Barbara, I'm very happy same. to see you here. Happy to see you here, yeah. Judy. Um, and um, we, teacher Judy from Taiwan. And now um, I'm so happy to uh, introduce yeah. you to teacher Sophie from India. Jung, yeah. Jung uh, sorry for interrupting. May I just, uh, the exercise was not just finished because you have two more sentences to write. Can we, can uh, we write that? Okay. Okay, sorry. So the next step is this one. So this is me underneath. Please write. Oh, someone is drawing on the screen. <laughs> Can you read it? So special. And underneath, please write. So unique. And then please write your name underneath at the bottom of the paper. And maybe you could fix this up on the wall next to your monsters that you are going to create and to write, to, to, to draw. This would be lovely. 
and always remember this is me so special and so unique give yourself this hug again from before thank you very much so it's very wonderful you know Thank you so much, Tito Barbara, for your story and help us to find how special we are, you know. And uh, we would like to hear from Tito Chosi uh, from India. What makes you special, teacher? I guess my hair makes me look special. I guess my smile makes me look special. Then I have, we wear this round bindi on our heads and all of you make me special too. It was been nice being here with you. Thank you so much. And thank you for your coming today. And Tito Fuzu, what made you special? I think my students make me so special and my son, my uh, family made me so special because they always made me so important. And uh, my friend made me so special because I can um, make fun with them and uh, tell a joke with them. And even I think I am very special because I always made me so uh, lovely and uh, so funny. And I always feel I'm so imaginative and uh, so happy with all of you because I'm always so interesting and creative. And thank you all, all my students. I love them all and love, love you all of you. Thank you. Thank you so much. And Miss Wendy, you have something to share? I was wondering before we all got off, I want to have a chance. Is it okay if I do a screenshot of everybody? Because this has been so wonderful and such a special moment. And I would love to have a screenshot to remember all of um, all of you and uh, spending our time together today. So I just wanted to ask if that was okay. Yes. It is really amazing, you know, and we ask you for permission to take a green thought too, you know. <laughs> yeah. What? We, um, so now, teachers, uh, Jinjin, do you have something to say? Uh, no? Hello, teacher John, did you call my, hello? Yeah. Oh, yes. Uh, thank you. Uh, yeah. <clears throat> so today uh, we had a very wonderful session. Teacher Wendy and Teacher Barbara, and then uh, the other teachers, and make our day very special. And so, what I would like to share about um, what makes me uh, special is so all of your loving kindness, and then sweet words, and then smile and then sharing knowledge. So that's so beautiful to me. So, and that made me special. And then, so since I have been struggling with that, so each day, each day is special to me. I say to myself, so I am, I am in the world. So I have, I have chance to contribute what I have learned. So I, I try better to love more and I try better to do better works uh, for my family, for my friends, for my students, for my community and yeah, for the other people, yes. So I always pray to, to our voters like that. I live not only for myself, I live for everyone. I live for everyone. So that's what I believe. That's why. So here being with you all is a blessing to me. And I have also gained not only knowledge, but also um, a great emotion. And that helps me a lot to move forward. Thank you so much. Yes. 
Yeah. yeah. Yes, we to have to identify uh, others uh, around us to uh, see the value of a uh, human being, you know, everything will be great if we do together and good things will come, you know. And that's why we have a process guide and we have a, a lot of good people around us who say uh, willing to support us, you know. That is uh, our passion and mission, you know, when we are teachers, when we are when we are human, you know, and I hope uh, we learn uh, from others and we can learn more from our session today and we can learn more from teachers and uh, the older um, Wendy and other teachers staying here and uh, teacher Jo and teacher Yes, teacher Jo is here with us, yes, teacher Jo. Yes, teacher. Uh, okay. Uh, everyone. Okay, I'm really happy and it was just, uh, it's like a pleasant day for me uh, to see you here in the same uh, same program. And oh, my connection. We can hear you yes yes and we have teachers from uh, indonesia Devi. Yeah. sorry Devi, right sorry i pronounced wrong okay teacher mm -hmm. Dung. yeah thank you so much teacher Dung and teacher emmy so invite me in this program yeah i really praise to the lord because i can connect all of you here teacher wendy teacher zin teacher cho and then teacher four because I can learn more from this program and then I will apply it for my students so they really love English. And then so that teacher Zin said that uh, we live not for ourselves, but we live for everyone too. Yes, that's it, teacher Zin. Yes, and actually I want to say more uh, with you teachers and students, but now time limited, you know, and we should uh, say something and say thank you, uh, Miss Wendy and Miss Patara to be here and share us the great and wonderful story inspiring us to um, learn how to breathe in and breathe out and make our feelings better and move on students and teachers, Miss John and Miss Wendy. We should say something to say goodbye to our students now. Students, can you say thank you to Miss Wendy and Miss Patara for our great lesson today? Students, unmute your microphone and say thank you, please. Thank you. Thank you, teacher. Thank you, Miss Wendy and Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Disha Wendy. Next time, thank you, Wendy, for your time today. It's very, very My great. Pleasure. Thank, thank you. you so much for having me. It's so great oh, to be with you. you. My heart is so full. Thank you for having me. Thank you, teacher. Bye bye. Thank you. It was a pleasure. Thank you. Hope to see you soon. Hope to see you soon. Oh. <laughs> Dun, dun, dun.